first and foremost, I'm a Marvel guy. I'm not, I only like one or two characters that DC, not that I'm hating on DC, it's just like, you know, I, I feel Marvel has better characters. My top three Marvel characters are the Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, X-Men, but I have more than just three, but I'm, I'll say X-Men because each individual character has a different power. Their superpowers that eat every almost every character, you know what I'm saying? All, that Marvel has that each power that someone possesses is different from the next person. As far as DC is concerned, I like Batman because he don't give a fuck. He just don't give a fuck. Thugging and you know the gadgets. I think he's gonna kick Superman's ass if you ask me. But um. I'm anxious to see the movie to see how Ben Affleck does. Everybody wants to see how Ben does as Batman because, you know, he kind of was a little funny style with Daredevil. So I believe, like, you know, uh, you know, Hollywood needs to hire me, man, to do some casting. You know what I'm saying? And to give my intake on, on how the story should go on movies, certain characters that I'm familiar with, you know, to how I would like to see the movie done which I think probably would, the, the world would love. Because I, I talk to comic book heads all around the world, you know, that that have the same views as I, and want to see a movie done a certain way. We understand, like, the beginning stories is comic booky and stuff like that, but you can still use the same story, but just, you know, enhance it a little bit. Some people do a totally different story of a character that doesn't match. I hope one day I could score a, a, a superhero movie. Heck yeah, um, now that, that's that's a, a dream goal. I've actually put something together for a back, uh, Black Panther. When we first heard about the movie, you know, being uh, done, and uh, me and my homie Carter now official out did a joint about Black Panther, where I used you know Marvel's music. My biggest concern with this country is absolutely the prison industry, the, the prison industrial complex, because oppression, systemic pressure, white supremacy, all these things, the biggest tentacle of it, the most effective tool of it is the prison industry. It's a war right now. So if you if you think you're just going to just throw one of our young brothers in the back of a truck and bounce them around and be like, yo, we just you know sometimes it's called the nickel rod word. So we still doing stuff from the 1800s. Peace decides to surprise us with with this crazy beat. The beat was crazy. And so we got hype. We was all hype. My tent just went out of control. It was a pole in the middle on the side of the stage. And he started going around the pole super fast. And me and Elsa are looking like, what is going to go on? To see him coming, I'm still thinking that's a, some sound guy or whatever. And he's going, blah, 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 and I go, huh? And he just stole on me. Pop clocked me like right around here. He, like, he's, he got me good. As soon as I went to punch him back, 